Today we are exploring what is commonly referred to as Mexico's Disneyland Eshcre Adventure Park. This is one of Mexico's most visited tourist destinations and it does come with a bit of a price tag. So today we're going to find out if it's worth visiting and worth your money. <laughs> Just... You got it? The size of it. It's huge! We have just arrived, really excited to head in. We've just used the QR code that they provide for a map of the entire park, which is really handy. Just got that on our phone. Now we're gonna go collect our tickets and head in. So prices for coming to the park range from general admission being 110 US dollars. Then you have your Eshcre Plus admission, which is 150 US dollars, which includes a buffet and access to plus facilities. You have total admission, which is 190 US dollars, which includes the buffet and one adrenaline activity. And then you also have the night admission, which is just from 4 p.m., which is $90 US. So they do have an option with your ticket that includes transport for an extra fee, but we decided today to just get a taxi, and it was about 300 pesos from where we live in Playa del Carmen to Eshcare, which isn't too bad, it's about $15. Um, there's actually a sign here that will tell you exactly how much you should be paying for a taxi when you leave, because that way there's no bartering or anything like that. got here and already we've seen flamingos, baby quails, <laughs> I forgot what it was, that's what we've seen, parrots. and parrots, it's awesome. The only problem so far is that there's so much to do here and it's so big we don't know where to start. The map's a bit overwhelming to be honest, so we're just walking in this direction. It says something about Mezcal here. down to Paradise River where you can, I think you can walk most of the way or you can jump on a boat and it'll take you down the river. We'll check it out. There 
There is a river, that, an underground river that you can swim through, but it takes about 40 minutes and we didn't bring a GoPro or anything, so I think we'll probably give that a miss today. So we actually booked our tickets today using Get Your Guide and we got a little bit of a discount. Get Your Guide offers over 60,000 curated experiences in more than 3,600 destinations worldwide, from tickets to top sites to one-of-a-kind local tours. So if you are booking a guide with them, they're all held by knowledgeable local guides and all you need to do to get your ticket is download the app which we have here and it'll give you this printed QR code which you can then scan and it's as easy as that no printing required at all just make sure you bring your ID because they will check it get your guide also has 24 7 support so if you're lost and you don't know how to get to your destination or maybe you're getting a pickup and they haven't arrived on time you can call them anytime and someone will answer and help you out they also offer free cancellation 24 hours prior to your activity. So if you book something in advance and the weather's no good, or for whatever reason you decide you don't want to go, you can cancel and it's absolutely free. So if you're interested in checking it out for yourself, we'll leave the link in the description to get your guide down below. We just came into this like massive greenhouse and it's got like calming spa music on. It's so nice in here. This is like my dream to have. I want to live in here. <laughs> River float was really nice. It was so beautiful in there. It just brought us out to this archaeological site. We haven't even made a dent in this park yet. We're like still at the beginning of it, so we better start moving. <laughs> yeah, we thought tonight's show started at seven o'clock, but when we came in, they told us it was 5:30 today. So that gives us a little bit less time to explore everything before the big show starts, which we want to catch. I think we're going to try and head to the beach now. Okay. I know it's a bit early to probably decide this, but this place is pretty bloody cool. <laughs> we haven't even scratched the surface yet. Everything's just so well kept and beautiful, and it feels like you're still like out in nature, even though everything's pretty much man-made. <laughs> it is very busy as well, which was expected. We just walked through, um, I guess it's the dolphin riding or petting or whatever area. I didn't know they had that here. I'm a little bit disappointed. It was meant, we were told this was a eco, like adventure park. I don't see how that's eco when you're keeping dolphins in cages, but so that's a little bit disappointing. Keep that in mind if you are like me and don't like supporting that. <laughs> So this is the snorkeling spot and as you can see it's very very crowded. The water's really blue though but um, I think this is kind of our nightmare. Let's yeah. <laughs>
All right, this is actually pretty nice. The whole beach part just goes forever. It's kind of like a giant beach club. We just went for a swim and had a beer in some really nice water. And now we're just sitting down to have some food. So we're going to review the food, but it's not too pricey. Like it's not too bad. It's about 200, 220 pesos for fajitas at 160 for a Caesar salad. That's okay. Now we're heading to the place I've been most excited about all day, which is a butterfly pavilion. pavilion. <laughs> Very excited. I don't know what to expect. I hope there'll be heaps of butterflies. Which way are we going? Predictable, they're kind of like birds. I don't <laughs> just you got it? it. Look how that looks like an eye. It does is it an eye? I think it, it's got an eye on its wing. I remember from school that they do that, like that's that happens Ugh! so they can. <laughs> <laughs> they can protect themselves from um, enemies. <laughs> it does look like an eye. Like I would yeah. assume that's a big eye. sure but I'm pretty sure it's a fake cemetery right I think so they wouldn't just have dead people buried here in a tourist attraction would they, would they? <laughs> it looks pretty cool though we should check out the sound yeah. okay just went to the ball game court but unfortunately it was too dark to film in there and uh, I would have loved to have seen what goes on in there the Mayan ball game they throw where they like just toss the balls at each other it looks intense it's spewing we miss that probably the much stuff there is to do here if you can look at it's crazy. you need all day but we're trying to head to that tower so that's where we're gonna get a good view of the whole park and then we're gonna try and find the theater and get a good seat for the show because we're pretty buggered, we're gonna sit down.
Wow, what a day. Wasn't expecting to watch a bunch of men play hockey with a fireball, but that happened. <laughs> Are we going the wrong way? Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> I think that about does it for us here. We're pretty exhausted. We've been walking heaps. This place is massive. Okay, we're about to grab a taxi. Hopefully they don't overcharge us too much. Overall, a really good day. Would I say that it's worth the money? For a family, yes. <laughs> Uh, if I would come back, I probably would only come back with kids. It was It's definitely something you need to do once, I think. I'm really happy that we did it. It's a pretty magical place, I don't know. What do you think? I think there's a lot to do here, so it's definitely worth it. And they've put so much effort into it. Like, you could, could even just come and sit by the beach the whole day. Um, but the, for the amount of different things you can do and see, it's worth the money. But. Again, I would say, yeah, we probably wouldn't do it again until we had kids. If you have kids, it's probably the best thing you can do in this area. I was a bit pessimistic coming here thinking it wouldn't be worth the money, but after walking around and just doing all the different things and seeing how many different things there are to do here, I would say it's worth it. We hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.